Change Agents of the World, YMCA. What room are witnessing tonight is a collection of irrefutable evidence of the devastating impact of the climate crisis. I hope that these images will last in your memory, and I also sincerely hope that you will carry these reflections with you at home for action. My name is Cedric Jello. I happen to be the global ambassador for the World YMCA. I am responsible for advancing the cause of young people, known as youth-led solution, in addressing the climate crisis in their communities. I also happen to be the executive director for the Hope Performance Tennis, a not-for-profit with the sole mandate of empowering young people through the game of tennis. I come here every morning to exercise. And every time I come here, it reminds me of the, the sad reality of the health of the ocean and our beaches. I mean, look at this great and beautiful beach. Its beauty is overshadowed by the waste we find ourselves. Look at this beautiful ocean that is contaminated, polluted with this sort of waste. And any time I come here to exercise, it reminds me and it costs me to duty. The climate change situation in Africa is a very devastating one. I mean, across the continent, we have seen evidence of how the climate crisis is negatively impacting people. We have come face to face with situations of drought, where food security is being threatened. We have seen situations where flooding has displaced communities. We have examples from Kita, where tidal waves displace communities and young people, women, girls, and their family were completely, you know, displaced. So, truly speaking, climate change is causing so much havoc. From where I see it, I think that we are on a ticking time bomb. It is just a matter of time. If no action is taken, we will be talking about something that we cannot even contain. If I look at what we are facing, the first thing I would like to call on is education. The level of awareness of this crisis needs to be intense. We need to make sure that almost everybody is aware or well informed about the scale of the problem that is at hand. Because I think that it is when people are fully aware that is where we'll be able to you know, receive more innovations and plans in terms of what we can do as a people in addressing the, you know, the crisis. To this effect, I have engaged ministers of state, I have engaged members of parliament, I am engaging assemblymen, I am engaging unit committee members, opinion leaders in the communities that I find myself in and that I am able to have access to so that I'll be able to contribute to the community response approach in terms of addressing the crisis. I'm also committed in speaking to headmasters, headmistress, the Ghana Education Service, so that I'll be able to go to the schools and speak to young people in the schools from as low as the basic level to the junior secondary school and to the universities. Because I believe that the educational system is one of the fine platform that one can use to convey the message. And I also think that sportsmen have the ability to mobilize their yeah. fans and mobilize resources to address the climate change crisis. I have been asked that, Cedric, how do you connect sports and climate change? What does tennis got to do with climate change? And I think that that is a very important question because sometimes when we talk about these important subjects, you know, there's a disconnect. The climate crisis is threatening play and sports. The extent to which, because of flood, young people are not able to play. Because of melting glaciers and ice, ice pores is threatened. Because of extreme heat, young people 
and sportsmen are not able to play sports that are not favorable under extreme heat conditions. And so okay. as someone who is into sports and to climate change, I'm very much concerned about using the power of sports to first of all communicate this message, to mobilize resources, and to be able to come up with solutions to address the climate crisis from a sports point of view. Welcome. Oh, Charlie, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Charlie, that's it. That's it. Oh, climate change, like how the things go in Glasgow, the time over there and stuff. Charlie, in my level. It's only a come on. What? First of all, Glasgow, Charlie, like, thank you. Thank you, Glasgow, in my level. Wow. You know what I feel like being here? Thank you. She confessed in the chair. Charlie, in Bali, I confessed in the because Charlie, see, I go meetings, I go conferences, I go play workshops. But this one, it'll be different. Right. Sure, sure. It'll be different in terms of attendance, okay. participation, input. Mm. This is a vim yeah. for the participant. Yeah. Many, many abani Charlie, abake abanaba make input the agency, or nak agency, oh Charlie, imali wo. Ba 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 kuzi nuko nuko. Imani wipi ni kemba mafi. Yeah. Okay. One, cinema phase, seminar. Two, my phase, my meet, you know, okay. high profile women. You might raise awareness. Yeah. Mm. Community program. We don't care. We are assembly. I'm right. Okay, I mean, a unit committee. Yeah. Or Jameson, I'm not going to have a program. No, but I could tell you. Look okay, at my you can be. Oh, well, okay. yeah, because impact is huge. Sure. You feel comfortable? Oh, Jilly, Jilly, me, Jilly, what to? The word is our room. So if you're in the house, where the off light, Air condition is off, mm. fan is off, and the room is getting warmer and warmer. According to all of you, you don't feel comfortable. Sure. The same way, if the air temperature is rising, okay, is rising, what happens is that you don't feel comfortable. Mm. Cheers, cheers. Some of us who are playing and avid dancers have come here many times expecting to dance only to go home because we experience extreme heat and that to a very large extent defeats the purpose of coming. All of that is as a result of climate change. So it is important that if we come together here at Afrikiko, we concern ourselves with such a topic and at our tables discuss some of these matters and see how we can work together to address the climate change or the climate crisis. So I bring you warm greetings from Glasgow and I will give you a dance just to celebrate you and then to also advocate for climate change. <laughs> question is so dear to me. Is the environment the only victim of all this? The environment is not the victim of climate change. Wow. It is us, the humans. We, those living on the planet, we are the victim of climate change. Mm -hmm.